Tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from a new group trying to stop the Washington Wizards and Capitals from potentially being moved to Virginia. Yeah, this group is called Stop the Arena Coalition, and they rallied today in Potomac Yard near the proposed new sports and entertainment complex that would house the two teams. Yeah, Rafael Sanchez Cruz has been on this story since day one. And Rafa, uh, tell us why don't they want the teams or this project to move forward? Well, Lorenzo, we heard a lot of the same concerns that we've already reported throughout the weeks, like the potential traffic congestion and also flooding in the area. But tonight, this coalition says that the potential economic impact of the new arena is their biggest red flag. The announcement of the proposed new sports and entertainment complex in Alexandria's Potomac Yard neighborhood. This is monumental. Blindsided some Alexandrians like Kathleen Cust. It was a shock and a surprise right after we were punched in the face. It's infuriating uh, what the city did uh, high handedly over its residents. She's not alone. And we are strongly opposed to this project. Today, the newly formed Stop the Arena Coalition rallied near what would be the potential new home for the Caps and Wizards. United, we stand, divided, we fall. And I think the people have the power uh, to stop this. With the support from some DC neighbors, the group voiced their opposition to the $2 billion proposal. The quality of life impacts, clearly transportation is a big one. The financial, I think, is an, an enormous question. Former Alexander Council member Andrew McDonald is leading the coalition that is calling into question the economic impact study that predicts that the complex will bring in around $7.9 billion in annual revenue across the state and 30,000 permanent jobs to the Commonwealth. We're trying to bring a project that's supposed to improve the economic quality of this town with revenue projections and economic studies that are basically garbage. Two weeks ago, the city made public a summary of the study, but there's no indication that the entire report will be released. And the summary that Alexandria provided, provided us was completely anemic. There's no detail. Nobody has showed their work. Others, like Dan Hang, question what will happen if Monumental Sports and Entertainment decides to leave the neighborhood. We're on the hook for 40 years of bond payments funded by tax receipts from events at this, this arena. But the Alexander Mayor Justin Wilson has said that the public will be able to provide comments as this project moves forward, but this coalition is not budging. They don't want the arena at all. So what's next for them? They plan to talk to Virginia state lawmakers in the upcoming legislative session. Now, we did reach out to Monumental Sports for comment about this opposition, but we have yet to hear back. I'm live in Potomac Yard, Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Hearing more voices speaking out about what could be happening in Potomac Yard. We'll see how this all shakes out. Thank you.